Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to understand for minimum sample size compare minimum sample size calculation for comparing of two means. If we have two means for a variables for a group is given, then how we'll calculate the minimum sample size? So for that point of that for that point of view, we need to understand the process of the calculation. So to calculate sample size requirement for comparing means of a quantitative variable between treatment and control groups. So what are the required inputs for calculating the sample size? So first of all, mean of the variable in group one, suppose group one we are treating as a treatment group is the X1 bar is given and mean of the variable in group two, suppose we are uh, assuming group two means control group for mean, mean is given X2 bar. Now standard deviation of the variable in group one is given S1 and standard deviation of the variable in group two is given S2. Then value of the normal deviate at considered label of confidence Z1 minus alpha by two will use for two-sided test and value of the normal deviate at considered label of confidence one minus alpha will use for one-sided test. If these are the information is given when we are going to calculate the minimum sample size, then value of the normal deviate at considered power of the test will notify Z1 minus beta. So power of the test is required if we are going to calculate the minimum sample size for comparing of two means or means two groups for each groups mean and standard deviation is reported in the published article. So for that, we require the formula. So for two-sided test, we use this formula. So sample size yeah, S1 square means standard deviation of the group one, S2 square means standard deviation of the group two, and Z1 minus alpha by two, and Z1 minus beta, this is the power of the test, whole square divided by mean of the first group minus mean of the second group, whole square. So this is for a two-sided test. Now for one-sided test, we'll use same kind of the formula S1 square plus S2 square, but here point is, is one-sided, so we'll use Z1 minus alpha and power of the test formula would be same and x1 bar minus x2 bar. So basic difference with this formula, we'll use z1 minus alpha by two and here one minus alpha, we are using the one-sided test. So this is the basic information about comparison of two means, but we'll, we'll try to understand with help of the example. For example, a study to see the effect of iron supplements for a specific period on a hemoglobin level among pregnant women of a community has to be carried out. So this is, we try to study on these points. Now, under a preliminary study or as reported in the literature, it was observed that the standard deviation of hemoglobin in pregnant women from a similar community with an intervention was 2.3 is given. And while that without intervention was 3.4 is given. If 5% level of significance and beta is 0 0.20, then how many pregnant women from each group should be studied if one wants to detect a difference of two in hemoglobin 
in the two groups. So this question is given, then we need to get the exact sample size. So how we'll get it? So try to understand the solution, calculation. So here yeah, calculation, first of all, we need to write the, what are givens in the questions. So x1 bar minus x2 bar is given to, difference is already given to, and standard deviation of first group is given 2.3, standard deviation of second group is given 3.4, already given in the question. And as we, as we know, normal David value Z1 minus alpha is 1.96 and for two-sided and for one-sided Z1 minus alpha is given, as we know, normal David value is 1.64. Next point is given power of the test Z1 minus beta called 80%. So 80% is a power. So in that case, Z1 minus beta value would be 0 0.842. So these are the points given in the question. Then what is, would be the required sample size? So we need to write the formula for sample size calculation for two-sided test. So as we know the formula sample size n equal to S1 square plus S2 square z1 minus alpha by 2 plus z1 minus beta whole square divided by x1 bar minus x2 bar whole square. So we just need to put the value 5.29 as we know s1 square and s2 square will put the value. Uh, so we'll get this value and multiply 1.96. So this value would be 1.96 and this value would be the 0 0.842 and x1 bar minus x2 bar is given already 2. So we'll put here 2 square. Once we calculate this, hold this value and we'll get answered 33 for two-sided test. And for one-sided test, we'll apply the same formula, but difference is only for one-sided value is z1 minus alpha is 1.64. Everything would be same, only this value is different in this case. For one-sided test, we'll get the value, sample size value is 26. So we can write it for a two-sided test, a minimum of 33, a minimum of 33 pregnant women from each group and in the case of a one-sided test, a minimum of 26 pregnant women from each group would be required to be included in the study. Hence, sample size for a two-sided test may be fixed as 35 from each group, whereas that for one-sided test may be fixed as 33 means a round figure we can take for, for each group. It may be noted that the required sample size is smaller in the case of one tail test compared to for two tail test. So in one tail test, sample size would be smaller. Thank you.